Hi, dear friend. This is James from Southern California. Today, I want to share a topic, uh, prime number or composite number, uh, especially for some kind of large number. For example, 2023, 2027, 2029, 2033. Uh, as you know, uh, this year is 2024. So last year is 2023, the coming year like this. Yeah, yeah, I choose someone not very easy to find its primal composite. Anyway, I, I hope this is an interesting topic. Mm. Okay, quickly have the concept of what means prime or composite number. Uh, let me write. Yeah, for example, prime means a number for like five. You can just write as one times five. Or just one and five are factor of five. For this kind of number, we call prime number. Then six, for example. We know six can write as one time itself. Actually, each uh, positive uh, integer, or let's just call uh, counting number. You can always write as one time itself. But uh, for six, you can also write as two times three. So we call one, two, three, six are uh, factors of six. So if a uh, counting number has more than two factors, then we call it a composite number. Yeah, anyway, this is a quick concept. Yeah, in order to know how to judge prime or composite. Uh, let's test this number, 36. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy to know 36 is a composite. But uh, how many factors 36 has and uh, uh, what they are? So as we mentioned, one and 36, of course. Uh, then suppose there are more. Two, 36 divided by, divided by two, we get uh, 18, right? Then three, uh, pair with pair, right? Then four, pair with nine. Okay, last one, also the special one, six. Who pair with six itself? So six is kind of, uh, uh, spatial, right? So this means they are pair, they are pair, they are pair, yeah. So from here we can see um, for each pair uh, except uh, six, the two factor, uh, is, one is smaller than six. Right, smaller than another is greater than six. Right. So, uh, what is six? Six is six square is thirty six. Anyway, from here we get some idea. In order to know a number, for example, thirty six is prime or composite, we don't need to go through all to 36, for example, 36 divided by two, divided by three, four, five, six, to like 34, 35. No, we don't need all of this. Uh, looks like we just starting from one. Yeah, we don't need to check, uh, uh, we don't need to check one, we're starting from two, to here, right? Then generally speaking, for example, for number, let's just call it n. We want to check if n is a prime or composite. Then we go to find a, a number as large as enough. But uh, for example, a number we call it uh, ace. Uh, we need ace as large uh, as possible. But uh, ace square less than or equal to n. So then we, we just need a, a judge from two to s 
to say if there is a factor of the number n. If you can find a, a factor, then it means n is a composite. Otherwise, n is prime. Mm. For example, let's try uh, let's try a number eighty six. Right. Then we know. Uh, 9 square is 81, still less than 86, uh, 89. Then we think if we need to go bigger, we're going to try 10. But 10 square already greater than uh, 89. That being said, 9 is what we want. We just need to go through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, just stop at nine. We don't need to go to 10 or even bigger. But from all this, yeah, from this range, uh, we don't need to go through all of them for the device ability. We just need the prime again. Prime. You need to know for this small number. You need to know who are prime, who are composite. So we just need to go through two, three, five, seven. That means just the prime, uh, primes inside this. Why? Because for example, when we reach four. Uh, means we don't find the uh, factor of 89 uh, in 2 and 3. So when we go to 4, if 4 is a factor, we know 4 equal to 2 times 2. Uh, then uh, if 4 is a factor, then of course 2 is a factor. But, uh, uh, but before we judge 4, we already know 2 is not a factor. So that being said, 4 uh, no chance to be factor. Then, then same way we don't need to judge six, eight, nine. We we just need to judge two, three, five, uh, seven. Uh, in, in other words, just the prime inside here. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to know two, three, five, seven. No one is a, a factor of eighty nine. So eighty nine is Right. Okay, so uh, after this, we can go to judge 2023. Okay, so let's really need some space before we keep going. Okay. Okay, let's use. Now we'll go to decide 2023. Oh, come on. 2023. Yeah, so let's quickly to find the, the largest, uh, largest whole number, but uh, uh, whose square less than or uh, equal to 2023. So, for example, let's try this. We know this is. Uh, so the, the number we want to shoot uh, greater than 40. Then how about the 50, 50 square, already bigger than 2023. Then how about let's try this. Yeah, we know this is five times five, 25. Four times four, uh, one of four, eight ones. Anyway, then get five. Four times five, we get 20. This is just greater than 2023, right? So that being said, even we don't need to go to 45. Uh, so suppose 44 is what we want. Mm. So from two to 44, then let's find the prime only 
among this range. Mm. Let's do a quick list. Uh, uh, let me change the color again. How about this one? Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-one. Uh, thirty-seven, forty-one. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's all the prime uh, among two two forty-four. Mm. Okay, so we can uh we can do just do division. For example, use two or two three divided by two. We know it's not divisible. Divided by three, not divisible. Uh, then uh, you can check yourself. We can find uh, uh, seven is a, uh, how about I change factor to read? Seven is a factor of two or two three and also 17. Mm. So two o two three equal to seven times mm, 289. And also equal to 17 times, let me say, the 119. Yeah, that means that 2023 is a uh, um, composite. Yeah, for the left number, uh, oh, come on. 2027, 2029, 2022, uh, 2033. So if you are interested, you can use the same method to decide them yourself. Okay, that's all for this sharing. Thank you for watching.